Holy ow, that hurt. You just hurt me so bad. Thank you. We just went on a little walkie walk. This is not a summer glow, this is pure sweat. Yeah, you guys recently have been loving my videos with my dog. I have a quick little announcement to make that we have a TikTok now. Well, I have a TikTok and Sphinx is featured on it, of course. Dude, I took you on a walk so that you would be tired for this. He thinks this is a toy at all times, so we're taking it off. I asked you guys on my Instagram, at Brookhouse. Hey, by the way, Sphinxy Boy has an Instagram, at Sphinx the Doby, in case you were wondering. In case you wanted to, you know, give him a little follow. Um, ow, bro, that really hurt, jeez. But anyway, I asked you guys to ask me questions on my Instagram. So we're gonna answer those questions because that's what a Q&A is. I thought it'd be interesting because a lot of you have questions about Sphinx on my YouTube videos. So I was like, might as well put it in a Q&A. You know what I'm saying? Question numero uno. Do you feel like you are becoming too attached to your dog? I thought this was a really funny question. Is that a thing that happens? Like, oh, hello. Oh my God. You are so cute. Is this a thing that happens? Like, do people become too attached to their dog? Because I really don't know what that's like at all. Is that a bad thing? If you're attached to your pet? Obviously me and my dog are really close. We're besties. We hang out 24 seven. We're like 25 eight, am I right? Sometimes I forget he's not a human. Now, if you're trying to look like your dog or something like that, my cousin asked, do you have full conversations slash do you have a special language? I thought this was a really cute question. If anything, our language consists of a lot of no's and a lot of yeses because we're still in the training process. Sometimes if we stare at each other for too long, he'll like try to fight me. <laughs> he'll like jump on me out of love. A lot of the time I'll know that he's staring at me. Like he stares at me all the time. You're just a little stalker, aren't you? Emma, yes, I can bring you to him so that you can squish his cheeks. How do you even come here? I want to squish your cheeks. Someone asked, do you ever get rude comments about owning a Doberman since a lot of people believe they're violent. We can't. We can't play right now. Ow. No one's ever been rude to me about having a Doberman, but a lot of people ask me like, is he violent? Is he nice? Is he aggressive? Which I understand because it's a stigma about the dog, but at the same time, it's like, have you seen his little face? So no one's ever rude to me about him, but they'll say kind of like passive comments like that. What made you choose his specific breed and did you consider any other dog at first? I considered a Sharpe. I also considered... What else did I consider? Basically from the beginning, I knew that I wanted a Doberman though, just because of the stereotype around them. Someone said, are you going to get him neutered? Yes. No, I don't need your opinions about it in the comments. Thank you very much. Will both of y'all be at the Area 51 race? <laughs> yes, find us there. Sphinx will be hosting a meet and greet with the aliens. Someone else said, I'd love to know how he interacts with male dogs. I've read the breed can vary for this. It just depends how they're raised. Honestly, we're going through a thing right now where he's very scared of all kinds of dogs. So we're getting him in pack training for that. Ow, oh my God. Sphinx. Uh... He thinks he's a lap dog. I need to finish this. Someone asked, where did you get Sphinx, like a breeder or a rescue, etc." I actually got Sphinx off of Craigslist, believe it or not. Veronica asked this, that's so funny. Worst house training accident. Well, sister, when he was a puppy, he would pee on the floor every two seconds. I don't know if y'all understand, but puppies that are eight weeks old, they just walk around and pee. That's all they do, they walk around and pee. And it's a gradual process to teach them not to just walk around and pee. I thought I was gonna have to sail out of my own apartment on Noah's Ark because there was so much pee on the floor. Someone else asked how I potty trained him and basically just a lot of repetition. Treats if he does something right. If he does something wrong, we just ignore it. Positive reinforcement, people. <laughs> Will you get Sphinx a girlfriend? Heck no, not for a real long time. I say that now and I end up with like two other Dobermans in the span of a year. Just watch. No, I could not do that to myself. Who's his godmother? The person who wrote that question. How does he or she get along with your cat? That's a really good question. He gets along with my cat just great. He also thinks that he's a chihuahua. Him and Wednesday do play around a lot. Honestly, they get along really, really well. Sometimes he's a little too aggressive for Wednesday. He doesn't know how big he is and he'll like roundhouse kicker to the face on accident. And then I'm like, whoa guys, this isn't the WWE. Someone said, does he get trained? We're currently in training. I know so many comments are like, oh, but your dog needs training. Well, no sh Someone said, has it been hard to find places to live that will allow Sphinx? Which is actually a really good question. The first complex that I lived in when I got him is different from the place that I live now. They didn't allow Dobermans, but I planned on moving out of there anyway, so it wasn't really a concern. Also, I think if I stayed there, it wouldn't have been a problem. Like, I don't think they would have kicked me out because of my Doberman. But by law, if your dog is registered as a service dog, they are not allowed to kick you out of the property if you have that registration. Someone said, what's Sphinx's favorite toy? It's between this and his rabbit. If you guys have any toy suggestions for tough chewers, he even even destroys the tough chewer bones and the tough chewer toy. Toys will say that they're durable. That is a lie. I've never read a bigger lie in my life, okay? Someone said, how long did it take for him to get used to you and comfortable with you? From the beginning, he was so comfortable with me. He has loved humans since the day that he was born. I remember the first day I picked him up in the car, he was crying so much and he wouldn't go to sleep, even though I could tell he was really, really tired. And so I just picked him up and put him in my lap and then he instantly fell asleep and it was honestly really cute. I'll put a picture of that right here. If you want more videos with my dog, 
please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and thank you for subscribing to my channel. I love you. We're trying to hit 500K by my birthday this year. Also, leave video suggestions that you want to see with Sphinx down below. We love you so much, and we'll see you in a few days with a brand new video. Bye! Silvermans are so mean and aggressive. Ah!